there is no background sound comes. Okay, uh, I think we are going now live, Emma, right? So welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to the founder AMA of uh, Mazanti. I am Arnab Naska, the business lead and co-founder of Stalker, and I will be the host for today's Ask Me Anything session with Mazanti. So Mazanti is a very interesting company. They launched uh, their STO a few weeks back. Actually, this is the latest one after Infinite Fleet came live on Stalker. And this company was established back in 2016, a very well-known brand in the European market, also in the Italian market, known for their high-end cars specifically and also their quality of the cars that they make. Today, we are very glad and we are very happy to have with us Luca Mazanti, who is also the founder and the CEO of Mazanti. And maybe you can understand that Mazanti name came from his side. And we have also with us Alessandro Paolini, the CFO of Mazanti. We will be discussing today about Mazanti, its vision, uh, about the fundraising that is currently happening on Stalker the STO, and also any other questions that you see is interesting for any decision-making process for yourself as an investor or as a partner of the business. Uh, we will start with the business. Uh, I think the first part of the discussion will be talking with Luca, his vision and his ideas about the business. And then we will go to Alessandro to discuss much more on the financial terms. We have also some interesting visuals that we would like to share during this course. In the meantime, if you have any questions, I know that people who are watching this is not only in the Zoom, but also on the YouTube. Please feel free to ask questions anywhere. Our team is monitoring different channels. They will bring out all the questions and we can discuss all after the end of the session in one-to-one Q&A session. So uh, I would like to start with Luca. Uh, Luca, welcome on stage. If you can kindly unmute yourself, that will be good. Uh, if you can introduce about Mazanti, about yourself and your enthusiasm towards car, because that's, I think we have seen quite a lot in your video on your website. That would be great. Please, the floor is yours. Yes. Uh, good morning to all of you. Thank you for uh, to be here. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe for my English is not so properly uh, good, but uh, I, <laughs> I will, uh, will do my best. Uh, yes, the, the story started from the beginning when I was a child. So, in terms of um, of, of uh, initial approach to this business, uh, all comes from a dream. All of us, I think, uh, we, ha we we have a dream. Uh, the difference that you can do is to become this dream in reality or, or not. Probably, probably, I am. Uh, Basically, I am an enthusiast of hypercars. So I started to work uh, in the workshop of my family when I was a child. And um, I was uh, in, in many events, in many um, rally or Formula One race. Uh, I followed uh, this, this kind of uh, world in every, in every way. So... I am probably the, the, the more enthusiast, uh, not only of my cars, but also of, of uh, the other cars. So I, I am trying to, to show also the people, to show also our follower uh, that uh, the, the soul of this company uh, is my passion is, and is our passion. So yes, we started... Um, uh, this, this dream uh, started to, to come in reality in 2002, basically, um, here in Ponte d'Era or in Tuscany, where uh, we have uh, uh, a tradition of, of uh, motorsport, uh, uh, not maybe in terms of big factory, but uh, with, um, uh, in terms of a great artisan, artisanal uh, entrepreneur that in the past uh, has created in Tuscany uh, they, 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 they dream and they, they super cars. So yes, um, I, I have worked in this company in every way. Uh, so started to, to build the cars from, uh, from myself and to arrive uh, at uh, manage this company in this new important step uh, of our life. 
in terms of uh, evolution, in terms of de development, and also in terms of financial, uh, financial improvement. Yeah, um, I, I, can, I can tell you, uh, when we started in 2002, uh, the, the very, very uh, uh, initial, the, the very first car was the Antas. Um, Antas uh, was a kind of uh, um, uh, a, a kind of uh, a particular a particular project. Uh, uh, also, in that moment when we started with, with this project, two thousand two, because at, at that time uh, no one, uh, um, no one, there the, 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 the aren't there were not uh, any other car maker. Who approached this kind of cars in terms of uh, artisanal approach as us? So we started uh, really, really. The, we, we was the fir we, we was the first, the first that we started with this approach. We the Antas uh, um, uh, is a car that uh, are made um, handmade, completely made in aluminium, and was the first uh, um, the first uh, uh, demonstration. Uh, of the capability of the company that at the time was uh, at, the, at the beginning. We started with the Antas together the uh, restoration project, restoration activity, because uh, at the time we made also restoration of classic cars. And uh, this allowed us, this allowed mine especially, to become uh, the, the, the idea, the, the dream that I had in mind. Uh, and to translate this dream uh, in reality. Because when you work uh, in this kind of business and you every day um, uh, get the restoration of uh, classic cars, so when probably you, you get to start from a couple of, uh, of photos and, and, and other information, and uh, then you see this car in the best uh, show of the world, of course, you, 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 you start to be able uh, to to create your your vision, because when it, when you you rest, you restore the uh, classic cars, uh, you cannot put nothing of you in, in that in that uh, activity. But uh, when you have a dream in mind, you need to put something of you <laughs> in your in your dream. So this is the reason why in 2002 started with uh, the first car, the Antas. In 2009, there was uh, the second the second model, the Vulca. And uh, in uh, 2011, start, we started to work in the Vantra project, and uh, we um, uh, we showed the first the first uh, Vantra in 2013 in Monaco. Uh, start, starting from uh, st starting from uh, the the top markets Monaco show, uh, the Vantra was uh, uh, attracted many 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 attention. And also the Museum of Tuscan Design put the car inside, and uh, uh, also uh, during during this uh, this this period uh, we selected from the Sony Computer for the Draft Club, so the, the, the first uh, um, uh, video game, and at the same time also other uh, games uh, in, in this guy in this case uh, uh, mobile games as uh, Asphalt, CSR Racing, Gear Club. Asked the, the Vantra to, to be inside the, that game. Uh, also, the movies about the Antas uh, was in 2018. Uh, the movies of Speed Racer of the Bakowski brothers, the same uh, introduction of the Matrix, for example. And in 2015, uh, in Transport and Legacy of Luc Besson. So, uh, th this means that, um, okay, uh, the Vantra is, is a concept, is an artisanal concept, but uh, that uh, attracted many many attention from the start of the project so yes during the development of the evantra so the evantra was in production for the first time in 2014 at the end of 2014 and in 2016 uh, we show the 771 version the version that you see on the on the video in this case uh, this is a version with the official uh, mazzanti colors and uh, in uh, this step of the Vantra um, was a, a step uh, in terms of aerodynamic, in terms of uh, layout, uh, and also the powerful that um, 771 are the horsepower of the 
in the, the version of the Panther. And uh, yeah, after that, of course, we started with another, uh, every project increase the level of the car and increase the, 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 the powerful of the car and the numbers. So after that, that work, uh, we, we arrived at uh, the, the Vantra Mille Cavalli in 2018. That was uh, the, at the time the, the, the car more powerful produced in Italy. Yeah, we, you can see some uh, of our, uh, what, what I'm talking about. So the Antas in 2002, the Vulcan 2009, the Vantra 2011 uh, in terms of project then was showed for the first time in 2015. 16 the 771 and 18 the Milikavali. 2021, uh, of course, uh, we are starting with this new exciting project that is the Vantra Milikavali R, R version. So we are talking about uh, uh, a version who uh, the people can enjoy, uh, can enjoy in, in race and uh, in track day mainly. Yeah, next slide. Yeah, uh, this is one uh, our point of power, in my opinion. Uh, artisanal means uh, that the, the, the people put something of, uh, of their self uh, in their cars. So we share with the client uh, not only a car, but uh, we share uh, uh, an, an experience together. And every of the people that are involved in this project uh, put something of uh, the, them in, this, in these cars because the, this is our know-how that we translate and that we, we get to the clients. Uh, also, when uh, the client asks us the, to, to personalize the car or to make something of special uh, and different uh, between uh, the other cars, because we cannot forget that the Vantra is a custom-made project. So we follow the, the, the client request. Yes, this is uh, some some uh, spot uh, about uh, one of the the Vantra. The layout that you see in this car is different from from others because uh, this follow a uh, client request. So in that case, uh, we use the, the 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 Italian leather and Alcantara, for example, for, for the central of seats. Uh, some in carbon fiber, some uh, details in aluminium. So um, we 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 can do really everything inside the car because uh, the people who work in the Mazzanti has the, the know-how and the company that work with us has the has the know-how to get uh, attached innovation so um, every every part of the car it, for us is like a little jewel that we tailor made around the client request and uh, all of yeah, also we are investing in green material because um, we are studying also some in particular material that we will use uh, mostly for the interior parts. So the new fibers, for example, uh, and also some uh, 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 green materials for the, uh, the, the leaders. Uh, yes, here, that there is the, the script uh, in, in some words uh, our vision. So we, we now the, the supercars are made in a production line. So you can see that cars are produced uh, as many other uh, object. Uh, so there is no so different between uh, producing a car, for example, or or a, a normal car. Uh, we we think that um, the car got to be the little rule. So when you, when you buy a car like this, uh, uh, you buy you, you buy a dream. You want your own cars. You want to uh, show also your taste. You want to show your experience. You want to show what do you like. So. When, uh, when, when a client uh, asks us uh, a customization or also an extreme customization, we live an experience together. So it's very, very um, important for us uh, to get to let the, 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 the client participate to the birth of the car. Um, our uh, artisanal conception 
uh, allow us to also to um, to show to the client what we are doing every day in, in their cars. So we are connected in remote or they visit us uh, to, 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 to show, to see their cars, our construct, our make. So this is an experience also other than uh, uh, an other car. Yeah, maybe um, to, to to close this part, uh, we can show a little tour to our atelier. Maybe we, we have a video that... Uh... I have some question actually, okay. Luca, before we go to the video part maybe. Okay. Um, I think in the presentation you showed uh, Mila Kavali, but yeah. we understand from the STO, at least the token offering, this is connected with Mila Kavali R. So yeah. what is the difference between these two cars, Mila Kavali and Mila Kavali yeah. The Mille Cavalli was, uh, firstly, was um, development for, for street use. So also, if this is a very extreme concept, but uh, taking consideration the normal uh, uh, street rules and uh, the mission and all, uh, all, all these aspects. We want to create the Vantra R as a really, really the extreme version of the Vantra. So taking consideration uh, the exclusivity, the, the numbers, of course, the power, but uh, without any um, uh, connection uh, with the, some, uh, uh, some rules that in some case uh, get you some limit. So we, we, have, we, want to, we want not to be the limit for this car. We want to go other the limits, up to the limits with this car. So we want to produce a car that you can use uh, in uh, racetrack, because uh, if you see, many of uh, of uh, the big company are producing cars only for for track use, and we want to share this concept uh, with our client, with our uh, followers, and we want to let them participate also to the development of the car. So, yeah, this is another another new challenge, another new. Challenge for, for us that we want to share with uh, our our followers. I think one follow up question, as you're mentioning regarding the car market, your industry is specifically very much, I would say, very high end cars, right? These are very expensive cars, right? Yeah. Uh, it's it's not accessible as a mass car, as you can see. Uh, how do you see the market has changed after COVID? Because COVID is a very relevant topic at this point of time. Where do you see the market, you know, after COVID is, do you see there is an impact that your market got very badly or do you see the market is fine? Honestly, I see that probably the categories of the people who are um, uh, the damages from this situation are, are not the, the category of, of our clients because our mm -hmm. clients are, has a big powerful of money and uh, they are usually different activities. So, Probably from what I am seeing, uh, probably uh, when the, the situation will, will be closed, but uh, I think uh, also next month, because I am seeing uh, many, many people who are um, starting to, to, to do business. Uh, probably we will have a, a big increase of request of the cars because the people uh, need to restart their life, uh, and uh, not only with uh, focused on the COVID uh, and on the economical uh, issues, but also with what, from what they like to do. And uh, the, the Apple cars, uh, the cars that we produce, uh, are some of uh, toys for, for, for the, the, the people. And the people need to really to be, to, to restart to enjoy. So I am very, very, um, very, I can tell you, positive in this uh, in this way i see that the people are uh, we have some people who are uh, uh, who are uh, waiting only to can tra to can travel uh, to to us and to 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 see their cars so yeah and how do you see the demand because i think your business is not you know started last year right you have a history of business how do you see the demand that is coming from the client side 
for your car? Did it change? Uh, did you see increase or it's the same almost right now? No, probably uh, they, 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 I think that it will, it will increase because uh, the, the demand that you mean. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because uh, yeah, because the people uh, uh, also the people that uh, maybe last last year was blocked at home, they want really to can start their normal life. So uh, probably we will in, we will have a, a, a big increase also that that comes also from the people that uh, uh, was blocked at home uh, maybe in 2020. So this is my my feeling and. Uh, I can see that every every day the people are, um, up um, up increase they 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 are running uh, in fastly so they, they want to restart. So I think now you are sitting in your workshop, right, Lucas? So this is behind is the workshop, right? This is my office, yes. <laughs> and I think we have a video which we uh, which you wanted to share actually. So okay. if uh, I see, Juman, if you can share the video, mm -hmm. uh, that will be helpful. So everybody can see how the workshop looks like. I hope everybody is. Welcome to the Monsanto Mobile Atelier in Tuscany, Pontedera, Italy. Let's go to have a short tour. Here we have uh, our showroom, where you can see the Vantra 771 in the official uh, Mazzanti colors. Here we have uh, the reception area, and now you can follow me into the production areas. The first areas that you can find is the assembly. Here you can see one Evangela in the final uh, assembly. And uh, this is a really special color, brand new color. And here you can find uh, the model in scale, uh, in the real scale, one at one. That is the first, uh, first, first uh, model that we have done uh, at the start of the project Evandra. Now you can follow me in the other plan. Here we have uh, our technical office. Here you can see some parts that we uh, design and engineering in home. This is the, our tall room. Uh, here you can find uh, uh, the new powertrain of the new Avantra with the 780 horsepower and the new 7-speed gearbox. Here you can see the rover that you can find uh, inside every Avantra. Uh, totally made in home also in this case. Here we have the production uh, line. Here you can find uh, an area where we do some uh, some job uh, uh, for, for, for the body, for the bodywork. In this case we are changing some little details for the new the new Vantra uh, Mille Cavalli R. Here we have uh, the three production stations and uh, here you can find the first chassis of the new Mille Cavalli R that is uh, already in production. Now you can go to the, the other area that unfortunately I cannot show you because uh, this is the testing and R&D area. And finally this is my office. And that's the background, right, Luca? Yeah, and I'm, uh, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here. No, thanks a lot. It, it, it's very amazing to see how, you know, how everything looks like. And it seems that even after COVID, your team is still working. So that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still working very hard. Uh, all of them uh, really, really are putting their their uh, their passion. Uh, uh, also in this period that is, is not so easy for us, but um, believe me that uh, all of the guys that you see, 
uh, are putting really, really their best uh, in what uh, they are making every day, making my dream and the dream of the clients. And, and their dream <laughs> at the moment. Yes. Yeah, I think it's, it's an art also, right? It's just not only a manufactured in, uh, for industrial scale, but it's kind of an art itself, right? Each car. Yeah. Out of passion. And I think you're also creating, it's not like, you know, changing Bugatti or modifying or pimping a Bugatti and selling. You're creating something from scratch. And that's, I think, the main value that you're bringing. The human power. The human power is, yeah. is, big, is really, really what we are, what we can do uh, the difference from the others. This is a kind of family. Okay, I think now, uh, thanks, Luca, for sharing this uh, background of Mazanti. I understand this. Uh, you tried to summarize uh, for the last few years in this short time. It, is, it was challenging, but I think our audience uh, got a glimpse about what Mazanti is and what it is meant for. And I think that's really valuable. Uh, just I see there are some new members who joined in the chat. Also, anybody who has any questions, uh, please feel free to write. I also see a question from Charlie already. We'll take the question after... Alessandro session, and then we can go into proper Q and A. Thank you, Luca. Thanks for Thank the time. Thank you. I'd like to invite Alessandro uh, on the stage. Alessandro, please feel free to unmute yourself. I think yes. Thank you. Thank you for 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 the line in this case. And so I can um, I introduce you the the second part of the webinar in which we can speak about uh, we may speak about the growth of the company. The, 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 the capability of uh, to pass an internationalization of the, and the dimension to, to, to think uh, globally and uh, uh, not, uh, not last the, the, the value creation that we are going to, to, to do with uh, the, the new business plan and new, the new path uh, of the company. So for this, uh, um, first of all, I would like to, to show you which uh, which is the, the, the track record in the last year, um, starting uh, immediately in, in the same time of the COVID pandemic period. And so uh, notwithstanding, we, we succeeded in the three uh, campaign on the crowdfunding platform, on crowdfunding platform in 2020. And uh, we started with CrowdfundMe uh, with the first campaign. And this was, uh, this was a, a, a very, change of mind uh, of, for the company because from family business uh, the company uh, be began to, to to switch to a public company in the in the obviously in the dimension that is a, also a, also a, a small medium company but the, the mind and the organization trend is going to a, a, another another size and another level of company and so we start with opening the, the shareholders uh, and the cap table. And so uh, through these uh, crowdfunding campaigns, uh, now Mazzanti Automobili has over 600 uh, shareholders. And this means uh, that we, this is a, a very huge uh, uh, network of ambassadors uh, and the passionate that follow uh, the, the company so day, day, day by day and ask and they push the, the company to the next level. This is the, the very change of mind we, we did uh, last year. Um, currently, um, obviously, the, the company must to uh, must to finance uh, the, and uh, and uh, provide the its working capital, and so we are going to to do a new uh, in, innovation in uh, fundraising, and so uh, we launch uh, club deals uh, and we launch. Uh, uh, obviously, the, the token on Stalker. This is the the, the, the moves uh, the, of the company. In uh, and so now uh, we are ready for for using the the cryptos, uh, using the tokenization. And this is the the mission uh, that they jo we join uh, uh, Stalker and we launch this uh, this M double Z uh, token as we we named. Uh, and which is which is the the mid term goals for the company in this case uh, you can see in um, in the last part of the of the of this slide uh, 
Obviously, we are now uh, as a mechanical, as a mechanics uh, uh, company in automotive. But at the moment, uh, we need to we need to uh, to be considered uh, as a, a luxury um, company. This is the 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 reason that we expect a double digit returns. So uh, obviously, uh, we are very close to the fashion district in Florence, uh, where is. Uh, Based the uh, Gucci uh, or uh, Ferragamo or Prada and so on, and this is this is the the, the in capability to be considered uh, Mazzanti as, as a fashion as a luxury uh, player, and this the reason to to pass from a mechanic uh, evaluation to a luxury evaluation of the company. This is the the the, the reason and the value we are um, creating. And so this is the proposal of, of our investment. That is, it's not a, only only a, a profit share and so on, but this is a value investing way. This is the evolution, no? as Luca said uh, in the, the, the first part of the webinar. Yes, so he started in 2002. Uh, he transformed the two limited company in 2016. And we are planning to, to pass to a, another level of, of company with a public uh, going to an IPO in the last three years, pandemic uh, uh, subject to, obviously. But we are going to, to, to do this, this uh, appealing and, uh, and very, very strong path. The company has a positive EBITDA, EBITDA and uh, the low debt uh, level of debt because um, uh, there is only, only a path uh, for for investment and on all, all the debt is based on currently expenses uh, low level of capex because the company has not uh, has not um, industrial robot and so on because only only expenses are based and focused on a hr the capital the human capital is the is the the, the first expensive uh, of the of the company and so this means uh, that our economics uh, are growing are growing in the in the next year, and so these uh, we offer to, to to investors a clear a clear very clear expansion strategy, because we are passing to a one off production to few offs uh, and to a limited serial series of uh, of uh, hypercar production, and this means to to um, to grow in uh, turnover and to stabilize the the um, capability to cover the capex and the uh, opex of the of the company. As I said before, the cap table is public oriented. So we, we are open to receive new investors and new uh, participants to the company because this is the, the strong message that never and nobody in the automotive has, has the done before. Passing to the token, uh, the token confirms that uh, the company has a, an innovation approach uh, and this approach uh, means that uh, Mazzanti is the first serial crowdfunder uh, with three campaigns made in, in only 10 months. Is the first vendor receiving crypto. We started to, to receive crypto in September before any, any, any other, uh, other companies. Only one, one transaction we, was done in Italy with a Ferrari dealer in uh, Northeast Italy. But never vendor, never car maker uh, decided before to receive in crypto for selling uh, its car. And now we are the first mover as a, in the in tokenization because the Mazzanti is the, the first hypercar in the world that it uses that they are using the tokenization for financing the working capital for financing a, a real hypercar. This is the this is the the message we have to tra transmit to, to investors because we are not financing or in a, in a general generic, uh, uh, but, but we are focused on the working capital of the company. And the Mille Cavaliar is a, a real product uh, to product, as we told, Luca, Luca told before, uh, the, the production has, has uh, just began in the last weeks. And uh, uh, this is the product to be uh, 
finished and to be resale to the to a collector this is a very very uh, used of the token so the token represents the um, the real product of the company uh, we offer a 50 50 revenue share in the company and this is a very strong uh, uh, capability to share the revenues with the with the, with the investors because we need to share in this uh, growth stage of the company um, to to involve a very in a very strong way the, the investors and the 50 50 is the best uh, message we can do at the moment and uh, offering to them uh, a, a nice return you know, of investment or uh, the uh, duration of the of the token could can be can be very short because uh, the, the milk valley is a is a special model very um, and many many um, so some ambition from collectors uh, that are that are in uh, the pipeline of the order to to buy a nitro car of Mazzanti. so we uh, probably the, the 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 duration of the investor will be very short because the milica valley is destined to to sell very very quickly and uh, or to go if uh, we uh, will have the capability to offer the the milica valley r through an auction house because we need to maximize obviously and to to communicate that this is a special model uh, handmade in italy uh, with a special specification top performance car hypercar the token represents the first step of investment in a, in a product of Mazzanti, in the special model of Milica Valley. But we, we have a pipeline of orders, and so we, we can repeat we can repeat uh, the uh, token with our token issues in uh, in the next time. And at the moment, we have three Milica Valley R under uh, under. Um, reservation by customers by collectors uh, and uh, uh, for this uh, we can offer for the second and for the third token we'll do in the next month uh, a discount uh, we can announce now that we 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 we, we, we Matsati will offer a 10 percent discount on the price of the next token and this is ma maximize uh, the fidelity of the customers and the 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 equitance of the possibility to stay in Mazzanti invested for a mid time, for a mid long time. This is an example of a, a circle, a circle of, of, of the investment is in the, through the token. This is the first token, as I said. And so uh, investor can use a uh, fiat coin or crypto coin, for example, for, for passing through the stocker platform and that consider the issue of the one one million tokens really one less um this is the the, the token with a value of a one year one euro each and uh, this finance from investors through tokens that is a a, a regulated platform uh, will pass through the uh, spv this is the equal to 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 finance the the production of Milica Valliar that is already under construction. Um, after the sale, after the production, the, the, the car will be sale directly or through an auction, an auction. And this is the best pace, uh, the, the best price we expect from the from the Milica Valliar. This is the 2.4. Consider that Mazzanti is uh, this is the top of the of the product list at the moment, but we are not the at the maximum value in the segment uh, and among the other hypercar maker. For example, Pagani or Koenigsegg are very at the double of this price. And so we consider this a good investment also for the collector. So the, the, the opportunity of this token is double for investors that could be a, a 50 50 50 share revenues and for the collector that will buy the company because the this price we consider a base to be increased in the next years because the milica valley is a is a piece of the the collector collecting and the, the value of this car 
uh, will be probably increased uh, uh, among the other collectors in the next year. The revenue share, as I said, uh, will be in this case uh, of the um, base price 50-50, uh, sorry. And uh, 1. million will return to the investor, to the tokenists. And this means that uh, tokenists will have a return of 120%. And we consider a, a, a normal scenario to product, to finish, to offer, and to resale the Mille Cavaliar in a maximum uh, 18 months. But have, uh, as I said before, we are uh, many, many questions, many uh, instances for, for this car. And probably in less than one, uh, one year, 12 months, we concluded this token. This is the, this is the goal of the, of the company. I think, I hope that, it's, that, the, that the, it was clear. This is a simple example, example, sample of investment with 100,000 or euro. And uh, we have two different, uh, the return will be, will be the, the, the 50, 50, 50 revenue share, but the difference is in the timing of the investment. As I said, we expect uh, this period, this duration of investment with a, an, impo an important, very huge ROE of the investment. This is the maximum period of conclusion. And this is the probably, the execution because we have very interest around the Mille Cavalier at the moment. This is the fast track program. As I said before, we, we start with token number one uh, through Stroker at the moment. And this is the, the first return of investment we, we offer. Then uh, we proceed with the three pre-order we have on the Mille Cavalier with the token number two and token number three to finance the production of the second or of the third Mille Cavalier. The investor that will stay with Mazzanti in the entire fast track program will have a, 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 very, a very significant return because this is the progression of return from the token number one for to token number three. And this is very, at the, at the end of the conclusion, is, uh, is uh, at the end of the, 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 the program, the return to investor will be significant, we, we say. Consider that we are not speaking about a, a unicorn, a, 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 a digit business, but we are talking about a handcraft company. And this is a, 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 an excellent return and program we can offer. <laughs> A similar, a similar sample of investment uh, uh, with a, a single investor that stay uh, in the second and the, in the third token. This is the IROE that uh, the investor can get for the entire program. Uh, why invest in, in uh, Mazzanti? As I said before, Mazzanti is transforming transforming from family business to uh, a, a mid-side mid company. And uh, this, um, this means that, uh, that uh, Mazzanti has now a global thinking approach. And uh, there are many discussion, many dealership, many uh, joint venture that we are uh, creating uh, in a uh, great part of the world uh, in a significant uh, market where uh, ultra hard network individuals are very massive and very increasing in the number. And so as Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and China are very important uh, strategic uh, uh, market for the next year. We open new um, a network of brand ambassador and uh, in, in this country and uh, um, many dealership are, are going to are asking for the for the for a, a, an Evantra or a Mille Cavalli to show in the, the single location in, around the world. But this is a, this is a problem of to have the product to to show to send it to show and to 
to transport in uh, Canada or in uh, Korea and so on. This is the, 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 the challenge we are doing for, for increasing the production and uh, uh, assuming a, a, a sort of a store of a demo card to show in uh, and to use for marketing. This is the, the approach of Matsent. Regarding the ARNAB, as I asked before to look at, uh, which is the forecast in the, in the super luxury, super luxury uh, market and segment. Uh, this is not so recent uh, uh, forecast research, but uh, we have confirmation about this. And uh, we, we just assume uh, some research from, um, from a research house recently, and the trend is confirming to, to do, uh, to, to grow, to grow, to grow in the, la in the next years. And so this is a, a billionaires uh, in, the, in the country, as I said before, are increasing. And this is the market of Tumazanti. There is no, there is no mm, so linking to, to pandemic or to a economic crisis or not, because the billionaires are on a different track. And so this is a, a, an effort and a, a strong base for Mazzanti for increasing the production and in the, in, the last, in the next years. So um, for any question, you can use uh, investors at mazzantiatomali.it for any question on tokens, for any question on the, on the uh, company. And I will reply, and I and my team will reply immediately for clarifying any issues on the on the token investment through tokens. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Alessandro. Uh, I have few also follow up questions which I prepared. Yes. Time. I think one interesting thing, uh, this what uh, when I heard about you regarding the token, what I understand, and that's actually when we discussed about this token, I remember for the first time, it's not a normal crowdfunding platform that I think you have done before, because when you buy in a pl crowdfunding platform, what you normally get kind of an equity, which uh, you have to wait for the exit. That's the reason I think the IPO became relevant because if the time there is no exit, investors have no exit option, right? They are stuck with the company. What with this token, I think that that's very interesting. And this, I would like to, you know, really hear from you also what motivated you to issue this token. For me, what it interested is actually investor comes in, invest the money, you sell one car and share 50% of the revenue with the investors. Simple royalty participation. And I, I think that's somewhere like also for stocker side, like for example, for the platform, we usually like this revenue sharing model because that's very clean and transparent for the investors when they get their money back. Uh, what did you feel like? Did you also like, this is also something from your side, you felt that the investors are interested in this kind of instrument or what motivated you actually? This I would like to you know, share with the audience. I think, I think that uh, there is many way, ways for, for participating in a company and to invest in a company. Uh, particularly uh, in, a, in a handcraft, uh, um, medium, small, small company as Mazzanti is. Uh, small means, uh, means the dimension of the, of the artisan of the company that uh, uh, have the, has the capability to construct a, a, a complex uh, product as an hyperkaiser. Um, the, the different ways for investing in, uh, in a company are usually equity and the, the crowdfunding is, a, is a, the first instrument to be used, but it, it's, not, it's not the only, only instrument. The, the, the second is the, the, the debt, and so the issue of debt is not the appropriate. I think Sorry. Alessandro, your audio is getting chopped off. Where is it? I think your audio is getting broken. Are you now? It's better. Now it's better. Yes. yes. So I, I speaking about about the the, the the different ways for investing in uh, in Matsant. You know, we use the uh, equity crowdfund. Uh, this is the first period for for increasing the 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 capital and. Uh, in, 
to, to wide the shareholder uh, participation. The second is that is a, could can be usually in company the, the, the bond issuing, but this is not interested at the moment for for, for the Mazzanti because this is debt and Mazzanti will will uh, needs to to go ahead in the, the time and the business plan with a le low level of debt. And so we choose we choose to use the token. The token is a, an hybrid instrument because it, it is an instrument of participation on, of, uh, um, to the production. And this is the, the, the best way for sharing the revenues or the profits, in this case, the revenues, and uh, uh, to be transparent fully for uh, showing to the to the um, to investors uh, um, about the cost of production about the revenues this is the, the best is, transparency is, instrument uh, and which uh, Mazzati chooses these uh, the tokens way to to finance the working capital i can listen you bro Sorry, sorry, I was muted. Okay, so thanks a lot, Alessandro, for explaining this. I think now we need to move to the Q and A session. I think okay. uh, it's uh, we are also uh, coming to the close. So I think let's move to the Q and A. I see already a question. I would like, and the question comes actually from Charlie. Uh, Charlie, I would like to give you the stage if you would like to ask the question directly. That may be much more interesting. Would you like to ask the question? Hey Luca, yes. Um, so just to repeat what I what I just said, um, but thank you for the uh, the kind of extensive background on Mazanti. Really interesting to see see how you've come from early two thousands to now. Um, what I was um, sort of following up on was Arnab's question um, around car leasing, which is just incredibly popular these days for um, I guess more standard users um, in the, the commercial car market. Um, also, obviously, the, the types of cars that you guys provide are slightly different to that. So I wanted to understand how often you see customers wanting to, to lease Mazanti cars versus purchasing. Sorry. Maybe Alessandro can, uh, can reply you better than me. But uh, yeah, it is an issue that is a matter that we already have uh, considered, no, Alessandro. But I, I lost I lost a part of the about, question about the leasing about the leasing to lease uh, to lease the cars uh, to 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 let the the client uh, to lease the cars. Yes, the about about the using the using we ha we have to 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 different um, uh, approach because uh, if you, um, the the hypercar the Mazzanti hypercar are considered as a, a masterpiece, a unique uh, hypercar model and so on. This is the, a collecting approach. And so the, the, the way is, on, is only to sell the, the, the product. Other ways, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we received many instances uh, and we are um, working on for uh, get, for offer the, the mantra uh, in a leases scheme a leasing scheme because uh, and probably the, the, the time of use of the, the, the car is so limited for many for many customers and many of them of them probably ask the, uh, to have the car for a short periods and the leasing could be could be applied. That's really interesting to hear. Thanks a lot, Alessandro. Thank you, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. I see also a question coming from Chris right now. Um, Chris, I think this is regarding, I don't know whether you would like to ask the question directly and then Yeah, answer. it's a question regarding the redemption of the token at the end of the lifetime. So this would be, how would the exit from the investment in the Mazati token work? Would it be via the sale of the token to another interested party via an exchange? Or would the token be redeemed against money? Or how would that work? Alessandro, if you want, I can answer the question. 
Yes, um, probably probably the, the the simple way is to redeem redeem the the token at, at the end of the the, the the cycle of production and resale of the Mille Cavalier. This is the simple way, but we can we we consider uh, after the, to create also the the, the a, a market on the MZZZ uh, token, and so probably. Uh, it, will be interest for Mazzanti to stay uh, visible on some exchange. And so we decide uh, after, after the, first, uh, the first token. The first token uh, has the goal to, to, to test the, the instrument of token, to offer an interest in, in um, return and uh, conclude the investment. So the exit will be by redeem. This is the simple way to approach uh, the first use of the token. For the second, for the third, probably okay. uh, will be interested to 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 be and to be present in some exchange and to create a, mar a market among the other customers and other 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 investment. Okay. Uh, question to our host from Stoker: Is that token in this case being considered by the German regulators Bafin as a Wertpapier, that is a investment vehicle? So this offering specifically for Mazanti, this is not being, I would say, open for the German public market uh, because okay. Bafin was not approached by the Mazanti. So in this case, uh, Bafin was not approached. So that is the reason the German market is closed for this offering at the moment. Uh, okay. Yeah. But this offering is open for the French market. The offering is open for many other European market at the moment. Excellent. Thank you. But just for like for other information, maybe Chris, uh, for some of our projects, we are directly dealing with the Buffin or the companies are reaching out. So those will go under the word prepare route, as you mentioned. Excellent. I see some other question. I think one question directly came uh, from the YouTube, I understand, which I mentioned, is it to be, can token be issued to the Algorand? This is, I think, question we can address. Uh, just for the background for the audience, this token was supposed to be issued initially on Ethereum. And I think when the before one week just before the launch, uh, there was a decision to change it to the liquid because Ethereum was somewhere unusable because of the gas fee, uh, the higher gas fee transaction fees and other. So that's why it was issued on the liquid network that is a side chain of Bitcoin developed by Blockstream. Uh, we are also, as Algorand is also currently a part of Stalker, so they also came recently as an investor in Stalker. We're also currently integrating Algorand as a support platform on Stalker. This will be coming in a few months. So we may consider that there will be some cross-chain applications coming in future. But for the moment, we don't see it will be issued on Algorand, but in future, maybe something change and we'll keep you updated. And also all the redemption and other can be also structured through Stalker because once you have a Stalker account, uh, this is much more easier to interact through the Stalker account with all the companies. So uh, even if the exchange doesn't come in, you can still have interaction directly through the Stalker platform. Okay. Let me see. There was another question, actually. This is, I think, uh, Luca, for you specifically, which I received. Uh, this was from the Zoom invite that we sent out. Like, what are the main competitors of Mazanti? Uh, much more here. Mazanti, Mille Cavalli are? Is it Lamborghini? Is it McLaren? Like, how do you consider who are the main competitors of yours? Um, I have a particular particular concept of uh, competitors because, because uh, when you, when you uh, talk about competitors, uh, you think that uh, a client uh, got to choose uh, if buy one car or, or another car. The client uh, that can buy our, our cars uh, can, cannot uh, can, can can choose what they want. So the, the concept of competitors in this kind of uh, market, uh, in my opinion, doesn't exist because uh, the people uh, can buy a Mazzanti like other cars. There are, for example, our clients that have maybe 20 cars in their garage. So they have Lamborghini, Ferrari, Mazzanti, Pagani, maybe uh, Koenigsegg. So I, I in my opinion, the, uh, the, the, the most powerful, the, the most uh, good job that we can do is to maintain our identity and show the people that uh, our cars are different from the others. So in that case, uh, you, are, you have no competitors. 
because you are the competitors when you, you get to obtain numbers. So, for example, Ferrari and Lamborghini are competitors, but um, our client um, can, can be able to, cho to choose what they want. So I think that the main focus is remain uh, ourselves and be focused uh, uh, to, 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 to do our best uh, from to increase uh, our level of cars and also the value of the cars in executions. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you. And I see also there is another question that came from Aurelie. Uh, my pronunciation may be wrong. Please forgive me. It's regarding the KYC time that Stalker is taking. Um, I'm sorry to say, but because of the high volume of users, which is definitely good for Stalker, uh, our KYC team is uh, struggling to clean uh, the backlog very fast. So it's taking uh, quite some time, around three to four days. So you can expect uh, to get uh, your account verified. Uh, we are sorry for that, but we are working to speed up the process and our team is working on the clock. So don't hesitate. The, the team will come back. If you have not heard, maybe in the next 24 hours, they will come back for sure. Also for investors who are investing in Euroflow, I just want to give an update to the bank uh, partner that we are working with. Sometimes usually take three to four days uh, for the money to be credited to our bank account. So there are a lot of investment we see that came in Mazanti, which cannot be reflected on the platform because the banking transaction takes a little bit longer. So please bear with us. And that is the reason I think crypto is uh, definitely important because in a crypto, you can do settlement of the payment within a day. And yeah, you don't have to wait for the bank to credit you the money in five days. Okay, I think uh, we are almost near to the end of Mazanti's uh, AMA session for the day. Um, I would like to ask May the final- Please, May please. I jump in? Just one question, Sul Tuluka. He had uh, commented on the character of Mazati compared to other so-called competitors. How would you see Mazati comparing in the marketplace? What is the character of your car? Why would uh, the owner of 19 cars, 19 supercars, buy a Mazanti? What is the spirit of the car? What's the emotional, what's the life of the car, the life of the brand? Yeah, uh, the, the first show, the, the first things that uh, that you have uh, in front of your eyes is the design of the cars. No, so I I think that the design of our cars, but starting from the Antas, from the first car, are quite different to respect the others, and will be different to respect the others because they are not designed by uh, uh, very um, uh, nice, a very uh, uh, I can tell you uh, a design that comes from the school, for example. Uh, this kind of cars are designed uh, mainly by my mind, by my experience, by, by what I loved in the past, what I am loving now. So I think it's a kind of expression of art. Um, you as, as you um, design what you have in mind. So every people have something of different in mind. But uh, as you know, the, the market now is moved uh, not only by the vision of the single person or uh, taste of person or vision of person, but are moved by the market, by, to, by what the people would like. So the result is that the cars are really, really close to the design now. So this is the first step, the first uh, aspect that I want to, to show. So something of different. If you see the Vantra, I think uh, you cannot find something of similar in terms of design. In terms of the concept uh, is uh, quite different from the other because uh, we want to use uh, a short wheelbase. Uh, so the, 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 the engine is in really, really in the mid, just close to the, to the driver. So this means that the car is very reactive in, uh, in, in uh, mainly not uh, when you go straight on, but when you have uh, some interesting um, road into maybe into the, into the hills, into the Italian hills in this case. Uh, this, is, this is very important for me because when you sit inside the car like this, you got to enjoy it. So you, you don't use the car to move from point A and point B. Usually you, you use this car to enjoy. So you got to use a concept that allow you to enjoy as best as possible. 
Um, another point is that the car is really light, is that uh, we want to maintain uh, the focus of the driver to drive the car. So you can, you can have uh, what you want inside the car in terms of uh, comfort, in terms of maybe uh, gadgets. But uh, we suggest, strictly suggest the client uh, to have uh, what they need, basically, but uh, uh, they get to be, they get to live an experience when they drive the car. So uh, another point uh, is that uh, we have also the space uh, in the rear for the luggage. It's very, very hard to find uh, uh, an hypercar that uh, allow you to fit your luggage inside the car. So maybe I have some clients that tell me, okay, look, when I, when I go uh, in a weekend with the other hypercars, I cannot uh, the space to put one t-shirt, for example. And, and this is a limit. This is a limit because uh, maybe you want to go to, to, to for a weekend uh, in, in Monte Carlo and you are not the space to put your bag inside. And uh, the Vantra has also this, uh, this aspect. So you can use the car really to enjoy you, but also to, 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 to travel and to go to, to, to enjoy for a weekend, for example. So character in terms of uh, uh, design, in terms of uh, uh, dynamic issues, dynamic, uh, sorry, matter, because uh, uh, you, you have the feeling that you can find in a race car in terms of a reaction. But at the same time, you can be uh, driving co comfortable and to go to spend maybe one week in Tuscany uh, without any stress. I think Chris uh, is smiling means like Chris is happy with the answer. So I will. Yeah, take I'm it. fine. Thank you very much indeed. Perfect. So I will take this liberty now to ask a final question. I think this is a very interesting question we received uh, from one of the audiences. Will we see a Mazanti electric vehicle at some point? What's the future? Does it look like? Do you have a. A simple nod is enough, Luca. It's fine. I was, I was carried about this, these questions. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Uh, we have uh, created a department of Mazzanti that uh, called Mazzanti Lab, that is a kind of um, uh, R&D uh, center that are testing different uh, uh, technologies for the futures, all inclusive, also the electrical, uh, the electrical uh, uh, approach. Uh, of course, uh, this is a, a different uh, aspect uh, to, to Zoika, respect uh, the concept of the Vantra as is, as is now, uh, all of the Vantra are that we are talking about. But we are, we are working on that. We are um, consider different aspects for the future. So, yeah, of course, uh, we, we are not blind. So we, we are seeing uh, what uh, what uh, is uh, happening into the, the world. What I, I, what I can tell you, uh, what I want to tell you, is something that the people maybe usually doesn't consider. Uh, this kind of hypercars uh, usually um, uh, drive, the client drive uh, maybe for uh, 5,000 kilometers uh, per, per year. Uh, these cars are already Euro 6, so this, the, the emissions of this car are completely legal. So the impact that our cars uh, get into the ambient, uh, into, the, into, the, into, into this world, is really, really, really few, is really, really little. So of course, all of, all of us are uh, saying about the new technologies, about new new solutions that maybe can be different also from the normal electrical uh, concept uh, as we have in mind now. But uh, yeah, we got uh, to maintain in consideration that uh, the impact of, of our cars are really, really low in terms of uh, emissions because uh, the kilometers per year are not so, not so big and the production of the cars are really, really limited. 
Thank you, Luca, for answering the question. Um, I, may, I, may suggest, I may suggest to stay tuned with uh, Mazzanti because uh, probably in the next uh, weeks we will announce uh, some um, innovation in terms of R&D of Mazzanti. Also going to the, the, the new mobility, a new mobility for Mazzanti, the, the strategy is to, to explore which is the best uh, for this kind of product this is because uh, as luca said uh, this is not, the, the the problem is not pollution of uh, hypercar because the the, the kilometers and miles uh, uh, to, to be drive to, to drove the, the, the car are so limited but we need to understand which is the best way and we intend to 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 think and to explore for new kind of fuels uh, or for new kind of materials or for new uh, su sustainability in, uh, in uh, the new um, product of Mazzanti. And so we are discovering new patents and probably next, uh, in next uh, close period, uh, next weeks and so on, we will announce some innovation through the Mazzanti lab, that is the, the R&D company dedicated. Sounds good. I think that that's super exciting when you uh, share this kind of stuff because this was, uh, I think, not discussed in the, during the session. But I think it was uh, quite an educative session. Thank. Uh, I would like to, you know, ask if you have any further questions for any members who are in this call who are also listening on the YouTube. I see there's some audience there already. Please, you can go to uh, stocker.io and you can write on the comment section uh, on the Mazanti STO page. You can see the link here also, also on Stocker page. We have a growing community of investors on Stalker and uh, please feel free to ask any questions that you want, anything that you want to discuss, uh, you can use that comment section. Also, you can reach out to Alessandro or Luca. Alessandro shared the email ID. Alessandro, if you'll be kind enough to put it on the chat also, that will be good. So people can reach out to you directly if they have any questions. Um, yeah, if they want, we can fix also, we can plan some uh, uh, private uh, uh, video call if, uh, if, if, if the, the people want to discuss about different uh, issues. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that that's a very kind offer. Please feel free to do so because I think Alice, uh, the team is always eager to talk to the potential interested person who's interested to know about Mazanti. And yeah, thank you to all our listeners and also for your questions and the interest. They were quite, uh, I would say that made this conversation quite lively. And a special thanks to Emma and Jiman for supporting during this AMA session. Thank you, Luca. Thank you, Alessandro, once again. And you too. Hope to see you guys again, maybe in some AMA session soon. And I love you all and see you soon, maybe in the next AMA. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye -bye.